Hello po, this is just an update. Usapang pangkalusugan, pero 100 cases confirmed or suspected monkeypox cases sa 12 countries. The time siguro pumapost ito pong aking video, hindi na siya 100 cases lang at impossible siyang hindi na rin lang uh, 12 countries. So, ang virus na ito po is found mainly in the tropical rainforest region of Central and West Africa bago siya nagkahawa or nagkaroon ng outbreak. So, what is this monkeypox? It is an infectious disease caused by the monkeypox virus that can occur in a certain animal including yung human at meron siyang incubation period na 10 to 14 days. Yung symptoms ay nagmamanifest like yung headache, muscle pain, feeling tired, Fever, nagkakaroon po siya ng lagnat at meron siyang swollen lymph node. Ibig pong sabihin, um, yung ating katawan or immune system, meron siyang na-identify na foreign bodies or virus at nag indicate po ito na ito po ay hindi maganda po sa ating katawan. And it follows by a rash that for in a form ng blister and a crust sa ibabaw po ng blister. So, the duration ng symptoms is typically 2 to 4 weeks. So, ang identified na country with monkeypox cases are France, Italy, Germany, Netherlands, Portugal, Spain, Sweden, Australia, United Kingdom, United States, Canada, and Africa. Stay with me, your nursing on duty is here. Like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. We're going to discuss the transmission, causes, symptoms, and vaccines for monkeypox. Let's talk about the mode of transmission. Sa human to human, the virus enters the body through broken skin. So, ibig sabihin, pag may open wound, tapos napakahawa ka dun sa infected materials or lesion, possible kang ma-infect, and possible portal of entry is through mucous membrane, sa eye, sa nose, and sa mouth. Also, sa airborne or droplet uh, respiratory transmission, just simply talking sa patient, pwede kang mahawa, lalo if you're not wearing uh, face mask and you're not properly observe yung distance ng patient. Sa body fluids naman, again, sabi natin sa lesion, pag merong mga pag fluids, pwede kasi yung blister niya pag pumutok, meron ng leak, then you're not wearing any gloves or observing proper hand washing, nandun yung virus. Through kissing, kasi sa droplet lang nga, pwede nang makontaminate yung nasa front na, na materials or mga things na just simply talking without wearing mask naman yung patient, pwede makontaminate yung mga materials sa harap niya. So, through kissing and also intimate contact sa patient. Sa animal to human transmission naman, pwede kang mahawaan through bite ng infected animals or yung scratch. Example, yung pet mo is positive yung pusa or kaya yung aso mo. So, direct contact to infected animals and also bush meat preparation and also yung body fluids ng contaminated animals. So, that is the mode of transmissions ng animal to human and human to human. So, yung risk factor para mag-increase yung possible cases nito is through direct contact sa lalo pag example yung a member of the family is positive na and it, hindi siya in-isolate. Kasi yung mode of, of transmission nga is direct contact on, contact on the lesion. Another one is yung contaminated yung linen or clothes and it is not properly disposed or separated sa mga baro at nahahalo sa paglaba or paggamit. And close contact with the infected human or animal, like sharing of bedrooms and utensils, ibig sabihin, sa research kasi dito nakikita na mas dumadami siya sa cases na magkakasama sa loob ng bahay through direct contact. So, yung ibig sabihin po, yung patient should be in an isolation room pag meron na siya lalo at nagpositive at may mga symptoms na. So, what are these signs and symptoms that I mentioned on my previous slide? So, these prodromal symptoms include yung swelling of the lymph nodes, 
muscle pain, headache, and fever prior mag-emerge yung rash. Yung rash is usually only present on the trunk but may spread sa palm, sa sole, ng feet in a centrifugal uh, distribution. And there are times na nagkakosyan ng ulcers sa sole ng feet as part ng uh, after siya magkaroon ng blister. So yung initial macular lesion nagto-turn into papular vesical. Ibig sabihin, di different types of lesion lang kasi magsisimula sa para mapu- mapulang turok, tapos lumalaki siya at nagkakaroon ng tubig, parang blister, then later meron na siyang pas. So, yung vaccine na choice or ginagamit nila ngayon is the small pox vaccine. It has been reported to reduce the risk of monkeypox among previously vaccinated person in Africa. It is a factor in the prevalence of monkeypox. It is attributed kasi both to waning cross protective immunity among those vaccinated following the eradication of smallpox and to gradually increase yung proportion of unvaccinated individuals. So, ang United States Center of Disease Control and Pre- Prevention or CDC nag-recommends that person investigating monkey outbreaks and involved in caring for infected individuals or animals should receive a smallpox vaccination to protect against monkeypox. And person who have been close or intimate contact with individuals or animals confirmed to have monkeypox should be also be vaccinated. Yung CDC, CDC naman is not recommending na magkaroon ng pre-exposure vaccination for unexposed na staff or person unless such person are involved in the field investigations or taking care of a patients with monkeypox. Treatment. So, I make a mnemonic of top. Letter T is Ticoverimot. It is an approved to the treatment of several pox viruses including yung monkeypox. Yung letter A naman is a, that is an antibiotic uh, therapy in a form of aciclovir may be used if secondary bacterial or varicella zoster infection is suspected. Yung letter B stands for brincicodofibir as the first line antiviral treatment. Ito yung medication or the drug of choice for this type of pathogens. This treatment should require or alongside with the supportive care since the patient is having fever as prescribed anti- antipyretic, maintaining of fluid balance. We know that if the patient is having fever, mapapansin mo pag nagkalagnat ang patients madaling pumayat lalo pag bata because of the fast metabolism. So fluid balance is very important in our hemostasis and oxygenation that is the initial information on the monkey packs. The data will change, pwedeng tumaas or bumaba. I will give an updates later. Thanks for watching. Like Subscribe and click the notification bell. The nurse on duty signing off.